What's up YouTube? I'm glad to be back and glad to give you guys another video this week. It's been a while, but winter's over and we're ready to hunt. I can get a few hours in. We're gonna hit up the park in front of me here. It's got some age, it's got some history. So hopefully we can get some goodies. If you don't already know, we do treasure hunting videos like this quite often. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Those of you who are already subscribed, you know the deal. I appreciate the support. We'll be running the Equinox 800 with the 11 inch coil. Right in park one, multi frequency, pretty much wide open. All right, first target turned out to be a bottle cap, second target, solid 19, not very deep. We got a large scent. Let's have a see, let's have a look see here. Hopefully, it's not too corroded. We'll get a date. Looks like huh. 19. It might be Victoria. Oh, it might be 1800. Can't quite make it out. Eh, looks like Eddie. 19, 17, possibly. Or 1907, sorry. Yeah, it looks like it may be a 1907 or a 1917. Oh well, we'll get a, a cleaner picture and uh, we'll post it up. Not a bad find for my second hole. We'll keep going. See you on the next. So it's been about a half hour since the last significant find. Just at the bottom of the hole. Bring it up 20, 21. Got ourselves another large scent. Oh, this one might actually be a Vicky. Nope. 1919 large scent. Hoping for some silver, but I'll take these old coins. This one turned out in pretty good shape right out of the hole. So we will take it, everybody. Great find and great start so far. We'll keep going, hopefully find more. See you on the next. Okay, so large scent right there where the coil is. Come over to this rough patch here. I was getting a solid 26, and literally it's rock right there. So I scraped the rock over to here. We have silver. Wish I had my foo foo. Yeah, we got a 1947 silver dime. I'm not going to do too much to this one. I think I already scraped it trying to get it off this rock. Just goes to show, they don't have to be very deep. 1947, silver dime. At least it looks like a 47. Yeah. 1947, silver dime. We'll keep going. But we got our silver. See you on the next. Literally, next signal, 1920. We got ourselves a George V. Got ourselves a 1932 penny. Isn't that the year of the dot? 
I'll have to clean this up. This might be a significant find. But we'll take it for now. Love this design coin. Awesome. We'll keep going. Hope to find more. Uh, that's a 1931. Oh well. Close. See you on the next. All right, so I'm basically just working alongside this fence in this older home here. And I'm gonna say about seven or eight inches deep. We got ourselves a pocket watch, or got ourselves a pocket knife. And it is personalized, that's awesome. Bob H, that's so cool. I'm guessing it's a bone handle considering it's in such great shape. There we go, Bob H. I found your pocket knife. Come and get it, sir. Or comment if you want me to keep it. <laughs> Anyways, enough with the bad humor. On to the next. All right, so here we are base of the house right there was the pocket knife next signal 26 27 on the equinox and you can just see it right there that's a silver edge gleaming in the sun look at that what a beautiful sight gotta love it what we got what we got what we got Looks like maybe a George. Yeah. There we go. A little bit older than the other one. A beautiful. Oh, that's in good shape. 1942. Silver dime. That's two silvers. We'll keep going. Let's see if we can't get some gold. Digging for all these large cents too. See you on the next. All right, so not too long after that last silver, got a 1920 here. They're turning out to be large since I pulled that out of the hole. So that edge looks a little rounded. I don't know if it's gonna be a button or a large scent. And it's neither. It's a bazinga. Can't win them all. It did look good though. We got a C ring. Copper ring. We'll keep going. See you on the next. All right, we seem to have found a hot spot. Except I don't know if this one's silver because it was ringing up 1920. Oh, that would explain it. Uh, not silver. It's gonna be modern. That would explain the 1920. Can't win them all. 2005. 12 cents, 13 cents in the hole. One step closer to the Deus 2. We'll keep going. See you on the next. All right, so it doesn't look like it on film, but the sun is going down told myself one more good find and it was ringing up higher than usual I don't know if it's the ground or what but it does look like we have a silver we have a third one for the day Let's see what it is ooh what's that we got a rosy wow Oh, and it just made it. 1954 rosy dime. Oh, man. Not too old, but we got a rosy. That's another silver. We'll call it at that and uh, 
wrap her up. Thanks for watching so far. All right, so we're gonna cut it short there. We got quite a few, quite a few significant finds. We got a couple large cents, first ones of the year. Three silvers, including a rosy. We did real good, can't complain. No real jewelry, but it is what it is. Can't win them all. So, I'm not gonna waste your time with a wrap up today. We'll just do some uh, quick picks at the end. But I wanna thank everybody who's been sticking around, who's been patient with me. It's hard to dig all throughout the year and uh, winter time really puts a hold on things. So, hopefully we're coming out in full swing, literally. And uh, we'll have a good year with lots of finds and great videos. Again, everybody who's supporting thus far, I appreciate the support. You guys are great. And those of you who are not subscribed, if you like what you see and you made it this far, hey, why not subscribe? It's worth a shot, right? It's free. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Until next time, stay tidy and happy hunting, everybody. On to the next. Thank mm -hmm. you.